I was actually an agronomist, and I worked in the countryside. And I uh, saw the, the failings of agronomy pretty quickly, actually, and got schooled by illiterate peasants. And what they schooled me in was actually, I later came to understand when I got a PhD, was agroecology. And so I want to share one of the things with you that they taught me. Now, hang on here. You toss the ball to somebody else, and you're going to name them something that you would either find on a farm or in nature. The Rivers. Cardinal. Oh, <laughs> mm. All right, now you can stand up. I want you to hang on with one finger. Don't crimp it. Just hang on. And I want the two ends to pull this taut. Let's make this tight as a guitar string. Okay? Remember, don't crimp it. Just hang on. All right, so what do we have here? Yeah. A network. What kind of network? Connected. It's a connected network. That's a good network. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an ecological web. Okay. But a special kind of ecological web. Diverse. It is diverse. It is it's got communities. Okay. Living? It is living. So let's see, it's got some nature, it's got some agriculture, we would call it... An agro-ecosystem? Oh, it's an agro-ecosystem. This is an agro-ecosystem. So this is how um, campesinos teach each other the concept, one of the many ways they teach each other the concept of agroecology. So here we have an agro-ecosystem. What are you? A rhizome. A rhizome. Okay, let's just suppose we kill all the rhizomes. So drop yours. Drop it. Raise your hand if you felt that. Okay. So if we lose the rhizomes, the agroecosystem is going to feel it, right? So what would an agroecosystem do in the face of pretty serious disturbance like that? What do systems do? Adapt. They adapt. So take some steps back and let's see if we can get the tension back into this agroecosystem. It might take a while, you know, to adjust, to readjust. All right, so the ability to sort of bounce back after a disturbance, who knows what we call that? Resilience. Let's suppose that we use a lot of fertilizer and we burn up all of the organic matter in our soil. Like year after year, we're putting fertilizer on there, and we're not adding any sort of compost or anything like that. So we burn up the organic matter, and we have a mineral soil, so it's probably. All right. So everybody felt that one, right? Okay. So do what you got to do. Back at ecosystem. Suppose there is a huge fire, and we lose all of the pine cones, and you're not going to be able to recover. So I think, I mean, the essence of understanding how this happens, and how we can protect ourselves, and you do it with farmers on the ground in Central America and here, who know very well that they cannot push their systems beyond the point of no return. Thank you very much. Okay. Agroecology is all of the, everything within a, within a system which produces food, and they're all connected. Um, that's an agroecosystem. Agroecology is a science, a practice, and it's a movement, a political movement, um, which makes uh, sometimes scientists and some institutions very uncomfortable. But in fact, that's how it's sort of evolved. And agroecology first sort of um, comes into being as a science 
when scientists make very careful observations of traditional farming systems, farming systems which have been around for millennia, are quite sustainable. And so they watch what farmers do. And what they see is that farmers are, and you have, these are anthropologists and ecologists and um, entomologists, and they're watching farmers. And what they see is that farmers are managing the different ecosystem functions of the farm in order to build resiliency, make sure that the farm is stable, produces into the future, that they get a, a, a crop every year, um, and produce a surplus which they can eat and trade. Um, and so I said, well, isn't this interesting? Look at, look at what they're doing here. And so you begin to look at different farming systems in different uh, environments and find that these farming systems are very sophisticated um, and are knowledge-driven, knowledge-based. In other words, you need a lot of knowledge to be able to farm this way. So much knowledge that it, it's really beyond the capability of one person. In fact, you need a generation of farmers who understand all these things. In fact, not even just within one family. You need a village. And actually, you need a culture that understands the agroecological knowledge and agroecological wisdom and can use agroecological information um, in order to reproduce themselves as a people, as a class. Okay? Um, so far from being backwards, or you know, primitive, or any of the words that are commonly used to describe traditional farming systems. These farming systems are highly sophisticated. Um, and what's extraordinary, at least it was for me when I first began to discover this, was that many of these farmers um, were illiterate in terms of books. Right? They certainly were quite literate in terms of ecology. Um, and so how did they exchange this very deep, ancient information? Well, they told stories, they had rituals, they sang songs, they had poems, they met in the village square in the afternoon and talked a lot about the weather, about the crops, about everything. And so, basically, they, they used their culture to exchange information and to exchange wisdom. So why are we talking about agriculture today, if we've got modern agriculture? So the shorthand is because modern agriculture has destroyed all that. And it's not only destroyed the practices and destroyed much of the seeds, we've lost 90% of, of our agrobiodiversity. It's not only destroying the environment and drying up our water sources and creating climate change, greenhouse gases, but it's destroying the cultural fabric of agriculture. And so that's why we see now a desire and a move to re-establish agroecology. And that's a po deeply political act, because it runs counter to the system that we have. Counter to all the rules and institutions and the regulations and all the incentives and incentives for profit and the monopolies. So it's really quite a revolutionary act.